How's it going guys? I'm at a Salvation Army and this is actually one of the second ones of these I found. It's a uh, Mad Balls and they're really rare. And I found one uh, probably about three, four years ago and it sold for about $400. This one, $2.99. How's it going? This is just going to be a, a quick video. Uh, I've told you guys in the past, I really don't go to thrift stores much anymore. Um, but then again, when I find stuff like this, it just kind of proves that there still is good things out there. Uh, a few years ago, I'd go to a thrift store, and usually I'd find at least one or two good things, but anymore, it's few and far between. But I uh, went to a thrift store yesterday and went back to the toy section, and I could not believe uh, this was back there. Uh, there's no markings on this anywhere, so unless you know what it is, you can't really... Well, I guess you could type in Monster Bat on on eBay and kind of find out what it is but there's uh, no markings whatsoever on this so you don't know who made it uh, which country it's from but uh, this is the second one of these I've had in the past few years and uh, the company that made these uh, they made uh, balls they called them uh, they're called mad balls and this was the bats and they only made these for one year in 1986. So they're pretty collectible. Uh, they're of various colors and uh, various designs for the creature on them. But like I said, these are very collectible. And believe it or not, uh, this should sell for at least a couple hundred dollars. This exact same one, a purple one with this face, there's only one listed on eBay right now, and they're asking $400. Uh, it has a few watchers, uh, but realistically, I still think this bat could probably sell for between uh, probably two and three hundred range. But uh, just uh, keep an eye out for these uh, these monster-looking bats, and like I said, they're called Mad Balls. And this is the Mad Balls bat. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.